Are you ready to roll the dice? Thank you for coming to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you five interesting positions from the final of Bansley tournament. Uh, this final was played between Mochi and Kentaro Major. I think I don't need to explain who is Mochi, but uh, uh, maybe some people don't know who is Kentaro Major. He is the youngest grandmaster and he won Japan Championship last month. So he's an up upcoming star in Beckham world. Okay, let's start. So this is the first position. The score is 2-0 for red, to 11. And the cube is, is already turned. Red row 2-1. The white checker is on the board. How do you play this dice? I'm going to give you 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Okay. Did you get your own checker play? So, what is the characteristics of this position? Red already made one point. That that means red wants to carry out a blitz. So, from this viewpoint, hitting, loose, and splitting seems a natural play, but uh, even though red has a two-point board, this is the weakest two-point board. It's not so strong. On the contrary, red has another good option, which is making the five point. So obviously, the five point is the most important point in backgammon. And after that, now red has a three-point board. That means White has nine dancing number. Of course, if white rolls a four immediately, then white can easily make the anchor. Uh, in that case, uh, red cannot carry out a blitz anymore. This is not go good. Plus, white has some shot from the bar. Two six, three six, and four six. White can hit the blot on the ten point. So white has multiple good numbers, but if uh, white cannot do that, uh, I mean white can't make the anchor, white can't hit, in that case white will be uh, in big danger. That's why making the five point is superior. And I think you know the uh, famous uh, proverb, making a point is better than hitting loose. This proverb is also applied. All right, let's check what actually says. Okay, making the five point is the best choice, and hit and split is a second, but it's wrong by 70. It's almost a blunder. So it's not a good choice. Did you get it? Okay, let's go to the second position. The score is, uh, white is leading in the score 6-1, so 11, and the cube is in the middle. Red rolled 5-2. So how do you play this dice? Again, I'm going to give you 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Did you get your own checker play? Okay. To begin, we can check the race. And red is behind by 39 pips. It's a lot. It's a lot. In that case, attacking play never be a good option. Yeah, just to get rid of it. And, I, and because of the race, I think many people think that Red has to keep his rear checker to control the, the uh, white area to uh, get a shot. Is this the correct idea? Hmm, I doubt it. Okay, anyway, if you want to keep this checker, your, high, your 5 should be 13, 8. And what is your 2? Is it 8 to 6 or slot on the 4 point? 
So you will have two good options. However, they are not good ideas. Do you know the, the idea uh, F13? So this means fight with 13 checkers. But what is fight with 13 checkers? In many positions, we have an anchor and we don't want to break it. In that case, we have only 13 checkers left. Yeah, we have only 15 checkers in backgammon. So uh, we need to use all 13 checkers to contain the opponent back checker. That's the, that's the concept, fight with 13 checkers, F13. Then let's move like this, 23-16. Yeah, by doing this, Red can bring the 13th checker to the front area. It will be the material uh, to make a prime to contain the opponent back checker. Also, if white rolls 6-3, six, 6-4 six, immediately, white wants to jump out. But uh, this checker will control the outfield and red will get the double shot. So I believe this is a very good idea. Let's check what she says. Okay, 23-16 is the one and only good move. Any others are blunders. Do you like it? All right. Let's go to the third position. Uh, red is leading in the score 6-1, so 11. And the cube is in the middle. Red wrote 2-1. How do you play this dice? Again and again, I'm going to give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so if you, if you want to think more, you can pause the video. It's no problem at all. You can think for 30 seconds, one minute, or 10 minutes. One hour is fine. Yeah, it's, it's no problem. Yeah, it's up to you. Anyway, let's explain it. So, red has many options. Hitting? Oh, probably this is the worst choice because uh, red has the inner block. Plus, this hitting breaks the midpoint. Actually, red is way ahead in the race. So, hitting is not so important for red. Now, how about covering the three point? This is a good choice. Yeah, covering the three point, uh, yeah, improves red's position. That's for sure. However, what is a priority for red? Because red is ahead in the race and white already made the advanced anchor, red has no good offensive play. In that case, running back checker is a priority for red. That's why. 24-22 and 6-5 must be a good choice. Do you agree with that? Let me check it. Look at this. Yeah, comes to the 22 point is a must. 6-3 uh, is a blunder. And where is the hitting play? Oh dear. This is a 500 blunders. So I hope no one choose this play. Okay, now I got excited. So let's go to the fourth position. So white is leading with 6 1 to 11. And the cube is in the middle, and the red rolled 5 2. So how do you play this dice? Okay, let's think for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, did you get your own checker play? Uh, so 
How about hitting loose on the one point? It's kind of a blitzing play, but the red is way behind in the race. So attacking the one point doesn't make sense to me. Plus, when you want to heal loose, uh, you should have uh, motivation. And I only know three motivation to hitting loose. Number one is uh, fight for a good point. So you can uh, heal loose on the good point. Good point means uh, the point you want to make. In that case, it's worth to uh, hitting hit loose. The second motivation is you have a stronger homeboard. If you have a stronger homeboard, then you will be the favorite in hitting contest. The third motivation is a tempo hit. If the opponent is going to make an important point, then you want to take out the opponent one dice roll. It's a good measure. So they are uh, typical three motivations for hitting loose. So I don't see any motivation in this position. That's why 8-1 should be a wrong idea. Then I, we see only one good 5, which is 15-10. Uh, and how about 2? Yeah, 13-11, 10-8, to eight, or 8-6. Eight to six. We have multiple options. But uh, we have to have a game plan. What is our objective? Because we are way behind in the race. We want to make a prime and contain the opponent back checker. And what is a key point for making a prime, which is the bar point? Red really wants to make the seven point. That's why 15, 10, 13, 11. This play maximizes the builder for the bar point. So I believe this is the best choice in this position. Yeah, let me check it. Okay. Yeah, this is one and only choice. Any others are blunders. Yeah, hitting loose. Again, 500 blunders. Please be careful. Do you like it? Okay, now we go to the fifth position. So white is leading in the score 8 to 1 to 11. And uh, cube is in the middle. And red rolls 6 2 from the bar. This dice roll reminds me Ray Fogarant. Hello, Ray. How are you? Okay, uh, think for five seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Did you grab your own choice? So obviously, red have to come in with a two. This is a first. And we can see only two reasonable choices. The one, the first one is twenty-one fifteen, and the second one is sixteen ten. But uh, yeah, how we can decide, how we can compare these two plays? Actually, uh, in this case, uh, let's think how white want to do next. Actually, uh, red does not want to hit outfield. What red want to do is hitting a blot on the five point. This point is the most important point for both sides. So white won't really want to roll a 3 or a 4 next turn. Once we find it, then our choice will be very easy. Let's have to play 21-15. After that, white can hit this block with 3s or 4s. And plus sixes. So threes and fours are very well duplicated. That's why this play should be the best choice. Mm -hmm. 
Do you believe me? Okay, let's check it. All right. So 21.15 is the best choice. 16.10 uh, is not a blunder, but uh, the difference is uh, clear. Yeah, 44 difference. Okay, now we went through five interesting positions from the final of Bansei tournament. Did you get it? Do you like it? Okay. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and leave any comment. I wish you good luck and good dice. Bye for now.